here's how I take a campaign I've made targeted to just the USA and I turn it into global campaigns like you can see above how I have these campaigns targeted to countries around the world and you'll notice the global campaigns are often the ones that make the very lowest cost sales. So this one, for example, up here, these are all promoting the exact same course and I'll scroll over. The top is USA, the second level is unconverted and then the lowest level is converted. So converted are countries like Canada, UK, Australia. The unconverted are countries where I don't even think there's a good shot of making sales. And yet, look, the unconverted actually has the lowest cost. $5 a conversion in countries like India, Pakistan. Now, some of those are excluded. Nigeria, I can actually go even show you the list of the countries in here. I can go to settings and locations and show you where I'm actually making sales when I click view location reports. So right here, I can show you then the conversions where I've made the most sales. Thailand, South Africa, Egypt, Malaysia, India, I made its own campaign after it made so many in here. Mexico, Philippines, even Vietnam, Ireland, Kuwait, Indonesia. I'll show you how to make a campaign like this for a global product. You'll see the conversion rate's low on some of these, but the cost per click is so low, at three cents I can afford to have a low conversion rate and it still comes out to a really low conversion. So often the US campaign is useful for finding what can work in a global campaign. Once you've got a format to do a US campaign, the global campaigns can often do exceptional things. The world often focuses on the US. There's advertisers all over the world trying to get people in the US to do various things and there's a ton of people in the US trying to get other people in the US to do things. How many people do you think are trying to get people in Vietnam to buy their product or people in India or the countries I just showed you? The competition is often lower and if you're in a currency like the US dollar, the euro, the pound, the yen, if you're in a currency that's strong, you often can have a huge advantage. Three cents might not seem like much in the US. I bet that's a lot more in Vietnam. And that gives me the advantage then. I can you bid all over the world on some of these terms and that's exactly what I'm going to do on this Fiverr campaign. So here's how I do it. I've explained why I do it first, showed you that it works and then I'll show you the technical details. So I select copy on the Fiverr USA campaign here and then I hit edit copy right here and then I just hit edit paste and then paste the new campaign here. Now I run in the background and now I can actually paste this again so that it happens twice. And I want that because I want to try the same setup I've done with the converted and unconverted because that's the simplest way to scale next. So if I look on converted, I can go look at the countries I've targeted here and I can even review the sales on them on this existing course so I can see where have I got the most sales, okay? Australia, United Arab Emirates, That I haven't looked at this in a while. I'm surprised I've got so many sales out of there. But Australia is the workhorse in here and then I'm also putting Canada and the United Kingdom in because this originally didn't have those. And then I'll put these countries in also. So I can do one like this and then I'll do one with all except those countries. So I'll call this Fiverr Global converted and then and I actually can simplify it to just Fiverr converted because I know it's global and then I go down here and now I'll put Fiverr unconverted even though that name might not necessarily reflect everything perfectly I know good enough what it means so then I go over here to change the targeting and I remove the US and since I'm targeting specific countries in this, then what I can do is put in the exact countries I want to target. So you might have noticed when I initially went in there, it said, sorry, no matches. There was a Google error. I had to wait for them to fix it where you couldn't target a country. So now I had to stop the video and restart it. So I'm doing that. 
I put in the countries I want to target on here that have verified sales. So these, uh, Un United Kingdom, Canada, Australia are big ones, but also Singapore has consistently worked pretty well. And that gives me a little bit more expanded targeting along with New Zealand. I can then grab all of these countries in one. So now I've got these five countries targeted in this campaign. It's a lot smaller than the US campaign, and yet it allows me to specifically expand my campaign in those areas. And then what I do, I do the opposite on this one. So I go up here, I have all countries and territories targeted, the US is removed, and then what I do is exclude every single country I'm targeting in another campaign. This way my ads don't run over each other. So that way I'm not showing ads to Canada in multiple campaigns, or I'm not showing ads to Singapore in multiple campaigns. Now, this all countries and territories becomes all except the ones I'm using. So between all of these then, I've got a, I've got the ability to zoom in on exactly what works in each campaign. So I appreciate you watching this. I'm excited now instead of having just this one. I've got three different campaigns. Between the three of these, the entire world is covered as far as Fiverr searches go globally on Google. So I'm excited to see what happens with the results from these, and I hope this has been useful in showing you how I do it.